In this video, we'll see how to take input from a graph. We can use adjacency list or adjacency matrix to take input from a graph. In this video, we'll learn using adjacency matrix to take input from a graph. So let's assume that we are given this graph and there are some nodes in this graph which are connected using some edges. Now, first of all, this graph is an undirected graph because there are no direction involved here. As you can see, there is no direction given in this graph. If there was any direction given like that, it means we can go from 2 to 0, but we cannot go from 0 to 2. Now, as there are no directions given in this graph, therefore, it's an undirected graph. Another thing is that it's an unweighted graph. Why so? Because we can go from 2 to 0 or from 0 to 2, but how much distance do we need to travel? That's not specified. Therefore, it's an unweighted graph. Now, for making our life easier, we can say that the weight of each edge in the given graph is, let's say, 1. Now, the first thing we need to look for is the number of nodes given in a graph. We can call the nodes vertex as well. We have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got total five vertices or five nodes. So we have written five. So we have got five nodes. So n represents the number of nodes. Now we'll see how many edges have we got. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got in total six edges. So here I've written six. So six represents or E represents the number of edges in our graph. Now all we need to do is make an n by n matrix or n by n 2D array. Now let me make an n by n 2D array and I'm going to name it ADJ. Now, ADJ stands for adjacency list. Now I'm going to fill all the cells of the matrix with zero. Now, if I write ADJ of zero three, it's going to tell me if I can go from zero to three, if I can go from node zero to node three. And also let me tell you something, one represents there is a connection between two nodes and uh, zero represents there is no connection. So one represents there is an edge between two nodes. Now initially I have initialized the whole array with zero. That represents that initially I am assuming that there are no connection between any nodes at all. There are in total five nodes but none of those nodes are connected by any edge. There is no edge in the graph at all. Now let's start from this edge. Now zero is connected to one. So let me write 0 and 1 here. Now as I've written 0, 1, so it means I can go from 0 to 1 and as it is an undirected graph, we can go from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 as well. Now as I've written 0, 1, it means that there is a connection between 0 and 1. Therefore, I'll go to the matrix and come to the 0th row and the first column and fill the cell with value 1. Because remember, 1 means there is a connection. Now, 1 in this cell represents that 0th row and 1st cell are connected. Now, at the same time, it's an undirected graph. Therefore, it means we can go from 1 to 0. Therefore, we will come to the 1st row and 0th column and erase 0. And instead, write 1 here. Now, let's move on to the next edge, which is uh, this one. So, we can go from 2 to 0 and vice versa. And therefore, I'm writing 2, 0 here. Now we need to repeat the same process. We'll come to the second row and zeroth column and write one here instead. Now at the same time, as it's an undirected graph, we can go from zero to two as well. Therefore, we'll come to the zeroth row and second column and write one here. Now we'll have to repeat the same process again for this edge. Now we'll come to the second row and zeroth column and write one here. And at the same time, as we can go from one to two, We'll come to the second row and first column and write one just here. Now let me do the same thing quickly for the remaining edges and fill the array. Well, now the array looks something like this. Now inside the program, maybe I want to check if there is a connection between node 0 and 1. As you can see, 0 and 1, node 0 and 1, they are connected. But I want to check it inside my program. How to do that? For that, all I need to do is uh, check ADJ of 0 and 1. I just need to print this out. Now the value of ADJ of 0, 1 is what? The AD value of ADJ of 0, 1 is 1. And therefore it means that node 0 and 1 are connected. I can go from node 0 to node 1. And so we are assuming that ADJ of 0, 1 means we can go from node 0 to node 1. 0 to node 1. Now we want to check if we can go from node 1 to node 0. So we will just have to write ADJ of uh, 1 and 0. Now if ADJ of 1 and 0. Now what's the value of ADJ of 1, 0? 
it's one as well so it means we can go from node 1 to node 0 as well now let's see whether node 2 and 3 are connected whether we can go from node 2 to node 3 so we'll have to just check edge of 2 and 3 now inside the array as you can see it uh, the value of edge of 2 3 is 0 that means there is no direct edge from node 2 to node 3 or we cannot go from node 2 to node 3 although we may go from 2 to 3 using another path but it doesn't count here so let's rephrase again the very first thing we need to do is see how many nodes are there there are five nodes so i've written five there are six edges so i've written six here next we will have to take a number of input lines as you can see we have got uh, one two three four five six number of lines and how many edges we have got we have got six edges and therefore we have taken six number of lines as input now these lines represents the edges 0 1 represents there is an edge between 0 and 1 the same way 2 0 represents there is an edge between 2 and 0 now here an important thing to note that 0 1 represents we can go from 0 to 1 and at the same time we can go from 1 to 0 in this case just in this case it's because we are using undirected graph and in this undirected graph the direction doesn't matter if we were to give 1 0 as input that would mean the same in this case because we are using undirected graph now let's try to do the same thing using c plus plus initially i'll take an integer node it will contain the number of nodes and an integer edge it will contain the number of edges first i'll write uh, enter the number of nodes then i'll just take a node as input and i'll do the same thing for edges so enter the number of edges and i'll take edge as input so i have taken node and edge as input now if we have a look at the input we'll have to then take uh, one two three four five six so we'll have to take six number of inputs or edges number of inputs therefore i'll just uh, write a for loop and this for loop is going to iterate for edges time and plus plus i next we'll have to take input now we'll have to take two inputs as you can see two inputs each time we enter into the loop and for storing those information i'm just going to take two variables n1 and n2 and i'll just come inside the loop and scan n1 and n2 now if i give 0 1 as input then i'll have to make edg of 0 1 1 and edg of 1 0 1 now remember as it is an undirected graph we'll have to assign 1 to edg of 0 1 and assign 1 to edge of 1 0 as well because it's an undirected graph now in this case 0 is stored in n1 and 1 is stored in n2 and therefore instead of writing edg of 0 1 equals 1 we can simply write edg of n1 n2 equals 1 now what is edg edg is just a variable so it's just a 2d array so let me declare it outside edg and let's assign 100 as its size because i do not know how many edges are there in the graph now because it's an undirected graph we'll have to also write edg of n2 n1 equals 1 meaning we can go from n2 to n1 now one thing to notice here is that i did not assign 0 to all the cells of the array the edg array or edg matrix it's because as you can see the edg array it's an integer array and i've declared it outside the main function so it's a global array now when it comes to global array zero is automatically assigned to all the cells of the array and therefore i didn't have to assign zero by myself so the very first thing that i did was take node and edge as my input then i'll have to run a loop for edge times and therefore i start from zero and it ends at edge after that i'll have to take input twice therefore i scan n1 and n2 then i just need to assign 1 to edge of n1 n2 and edge of n2 and n1 and the reason i'm assigning twice is because i'm using an undirected graph now our code is ready to take graph as input now all the information are saved in this edge array and let's try to print out the edge array on the console now to print the two data we'll have to use two loops and the loops are going to run node times because it's an n by n array so it's just simply printing out a 2d array nothing else 
now we'll just print edge of ij on the console now let's try to run it now enter the number of nodes so we'll write 5 enter the number of edges we'll write 6 and now we'll have to write edges one by one so i'm just going to copy and paste it here and press enter now as you can see the edge matrix has been printed out on the screen now if you look at the array that has been printed out on the screen and try to match it with the array that we have previously drawn then both of the two arrays are identical so that's how we take input from a graph using an adjacency matrix so that's it hopefully i was able to make you understand something and it is one of my very first videos in english if you have any question feel free to put it in the comment section